who is working more than five years and where there are number of employees are about 12 employees then the employer has to pay gratuity to the employee. Private sector employees covered under payment of Gratuity Act of 1972 if I'm a non-government employee and if my gratuity is covered under Gratuity Act. If I worked for 14 years, 8 months, so we are going to consider 20, 14 years, 8 months will be ignored from the calculation. Warm welcome to FIPS and BBA students. I'm Professor Rajesh L.A. from Department of Commerce and Management with the Ashram First Grade College, Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. In our previous session, we have solved income from salary programs. Now, the income from salary with gratuity, if they are going to ask, so what is gratuity? And uh, if gratuity received by the government employee and non-government employee, whether it's covered under the act, not covered under the act, we're going to solve some problems and we'll understand the concepts easily. First one, gratuity. Gratuity is the amount, this amount support given by the employee to the organization and this amount will be given in the lump sum amount at the time of retirement or at the time of leaving the organization after a long service done by the employee to the company or the organization. The gratuity is formed under the Gratuity Act of 1972. The employer is going to provide the benefits to the employee. In any organization, any employee who is working more than five years and where there are number of employees are about 12 employees, then the employer has to pay gratuity to the employee and it is left to the employer to pay the gratuity or not. Gratuity paid to the government employees. Any gratuity paid to the employee who is working in a government organization or departments, whatever the amount of gratuity received by him is exempted from tax. If it is received after the retirement, if the gratuity amount is received before the retirement, then it is taxable in the hands of the employee. Gratuity received by non-government employee, private sector employees covered under payment of Gratuity Act of 1972, if I'm a non-government employee and if my gratuity is covered under Gratuity Act, so then uh, which are the following things we have to consider how we can make a, see which are the organizations we have here, plantation, mine, oil field, railway company, shops, establishments, education institutions, having 10 or more employees on any day during the preceding 12 months, then they have to pay gratuity to the employees as per the Gratuity Act of 1972. Gratuity for non-government employees, any death or retirement gratuity is exempt from tax to the extent of the least of the following. So if I receive gratuity, what is the benefit I'm going to get here? So there are three calculations are here which are to be considered at the time of calculation of gratuity. The first one is rupees 20 lakhs as per the Income Tax Act of 1961. The statutory limit is 20 lakhs actual gratuity and total salary amount should be sum of 15 days of service for every year completed or part thereof in excess of six months that is 15 by 26. So salary into 15 by 26 into number of years of service completed. So in these three, whichever is the least amount will be deducted out of the gratuity amount. The remaining amount is taxable in the hands of the assessee. If I am not receiving gratuity or if I am receiving gratuity and I have not covered under the gratuity act, so then the calculation will be a statutory limit is 20 lakhs and actual gratuity amount and next one it will be salary into 1 by 2 into number of years of service completed. So this is the thing what we are going to calculate. So now salary here will be average salary of last 10 months. So 1 by 2 into salary into number of years of service completed. And here we are going to ignore, ignore months. Means if I worked for 14 years, 8 months, 
So we are going to consider only 14 years. 8 months will be ignored from the calculation. Let us solve one problem here. After serving for 33 years, 9 months here in Bharat Chemicals Limited, Mr. X, who is covered under the Payment of Gratuity Act, retires from the service on 30th November, 30th November 2022. He retired from the service. The company paid him a gratuity of 9 lakhs. His monthly basic salary at the time of retirement was 30,000, DA was 9,000 and HRA was 4,500. So now, what are the things we have to consider here? and how much we have to calculate here. Say, salary means here basic pay and DA. And computation of, computation of taxable gratuity particulars amount, amount, Actual gratuity, actual grat gratuity, I have received 9 lakhs, less least of the following, least of the following, first one, actual, actual is 9 lakhs. Second one, statutory limit, statutory limit, 20 lakhs, C, 15 by 26 into salary into number of years of service completed. So here I worked for 33 years, 9 months. So 33 years and 9 months means so it will be 34 years will be considered if it's covered. So 15 by 26 into salary means DA and this one 39,000 39,000 into 34. So seven lakh sixty five thousand. In these three, the least one will be seven lakh sixty five thousand. So taxable gratuity will be one lakh thirty five thousand. So taxable gratuity will be one lakh thirty five. That's the thing what we had. See, the gratuity received was nine lakh less least of the following. Actually, is nine lakh. Limit is 20 lakhs and 15 by 26, there's a calculation, 15 by 26 into 39,000 into 34 years. So, 7,65,000 is exempted, remaining 1,35,000 is taxable. Next, Mr. A retired after completing of 25 years, 6 months year and basic salary was 40,000 per month, day 15,000 per month. So, 60% was entered, so 15,000 into 60 by 100. So it will be 9,000 we have to consider for the retirement benefit. Commission 1% of 1 crore 20 lakh. So 1 crore 20 lakh into 1 by 100. 0, 0 get cancelled. So remaining will be a 1 lakh 20,000. 1 lakh 20,000. So 9,000 into 12. So it will be 1 lakh 8,000, 40,000 into 12. So it will be 40,000 into 12. So 4 lakh 80,000. Next one. Bonus 30,000 per annum. Computation of taxable gratuity. Assuming is a private sector employee covered under gratuity act. So 15 lakhs is the amount received. Statutory limit is 20 lakhs and gratuity received is 15 lakhs and 15 by 40,000 plus 9,000 that is into 26 by 12, 15 by 26, so 7 lakh 35,000. So in these least is 7 lakh 35, 7 lakh 65,000 is the 
taxable amount of gratuity in the hands of the SSC. So read and analyze carefully. Next one, where I have not covered in the gratuity act. Similar problem we have taken here, where it is not covered in gratuity and the number of years it will be 25 years not 26 years months are ignored here and remaining calculation will be the same year i'm receiving 15 lakh gratuity statutory limit is 20 lakh gratuity is 15 lakh and salary will be 49000 into 25 years into 1 by 2 so 12 lakh 25 in these three the least one is 12 lakh 25 and the taxable gratuity will be 3 lakh 75000 in the hands of the assessee now See, we have covered all the topics here and from this income from salary is the main concept which we'll get for 15 marks. Go through that one and understand what should be done and what it should not be done here. Thank you to all our 5th SEM BBA students. We have completed income from salary. So go through all the problems, whatever you have solved here and get through in your examination. Namaste and thank you.